To get started with making our ring, we're going to make several marks on the foam board. Starting from the bottom of the board, we're going to measure upwards 1 inches, 4 inches, 5 and a half inches, 7 to 8 inches, and 10 inches. Then from the top down, we're going to make two more marks and we're going to make them at 3 and a quarter inches and 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. Repeat all the marks on the opposite side of the foam board. When you're done, take a straight edge or ruler and connect the lines. We are now going to make several 10% cuts or scores. The first one will be on the line that is at 1 inches, the second one will be on the line that is at 7 and 2 eighths of an inch, and the last one will be on the 10 inch line. Flipping the foam board around, we're going to cut off the two marks that we made at 3 and a quarter of an inch and 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. They are going to be 100% cuts and we need both these strips. Carefully remove the paper from the bottom of the foam board up to the 1 inch line and from the 7 and 2 eighths inch line to the 10 inch line. In order to match the curvature of the wing, we need to bevel the back end. Use a sanding block to make a long sloping curve from the top to the bottom. It should look like the image. If you can recall, we cut off two smaller strips from the top of the foam board. And the first one was 3 quarters of an inch wide and the second one was 5 eighths of an inch wide. The 5 eighths inch wide strip is going to get glued below the 4 inch line and the 3 quarter inch wide strip is going to get glued above the 5 and a half inch line. Use a scrap piece of foam board to wipe away any glue that is above the 4 inch line and any glue that is below the 5 and a half inch line. It is now time to fold the wing over. This step might be a little bit tricky, so make sure you watch this clip over a few times just to make sure that you got it right. We're going to start by placing a generous portion of hot glue on top of the two support braces, then we're going to bend the wing over at the 7 and 2 eighths inch line. Press down on the wing quite firmly to make sure that there is a good contact between the bottom surface of the wing and the support braces. Run the hot glue gun down the length of the beveled edge and press it up against the bottom of the wing. Use the table to help ensure a good bond. Place your straight edge up against the bottom edge of the wing and measure outwards 2 inches and repeat on the other side. Then draw a line across the two 2 inch marks and cut off the excess. Measure down from the bottom of the wing 3 sixteenths of an inch and repeat on the other side. Place your straight edge across the two marks and make a 10% paper score. Then place your ruler all the way up against the bottom edge of the wing and make a 90% cut, which is the first layer of paper and through the foam but not the last layer of paper. Then you can pull out that little 3 sixteenths of an inch strip of paper. You can now fold the flap over and sand down the little bit of foam that's left at a 45 degree angle with a bit of sandpaper. If you need help on how to make hinges, there is a specific video on how to make hinges. Be sure that your aileron has free range of motion. You should at least be able to go 45 degrees down and at least 45 degrees up. From either end of the aileron, make a mark that is 15 inches towards the center and then make a mark that is in between those two 15 inch marks. From that center mark, make a mark that is one and a half inches from either side. 
a unit aileron won't do as much good. So on both of the marks that you made one and a half inches from the center, make a straight cut going from the back of the aileron to the front of the aileron. You can now pull out the middle piece as we will not be needing this. Draw a line that is in the center of the wing and measure up 5 inches. On either side of the middle line, you're going to draw another line that is 5 inches tall from the bottom of the wing. Then lay your ruler across those two 5 inch marks and make a straight line on either side of the middle line that extends 8.5 inches. Place a servo on the inside of the 8.5 inch line and trace around it. The servo should not extend past the 8.5 inches. It should be on the inside of that and it should not go above the 8.5 inch line. Repeat the same process on the other side. Use your knife to cut out the shape of the servo. Cut slightly on the inside of the lines to ensure a tight fit. Push in the servo to make sure that it fits properly and then repeat the process on the other side. Also cut out a small half by half inch square in the middle of the wing. <laughs> 